Forecasting the weather today, there's so much new science and there's so much new uh, computer programming and modeling that have just spearheaded the industry over the last decade or so. Um, it's really become more advanced and the expectations of meteorologists get more advanced as well. You get to the Gulf of Maine area and you find out that things move from east to west, they come in off the water, everything changes. Everything you learn in meteorology, a lot of it is scratched. The Gulf of Maine is such an interesting place to forecast weather. It really affects our weather quite a bit. I'm the marine focal point here at the office and that really focuses on the storm surge component, the day-to-day -day forecasts, uh, the wave action and erosion during storms. I really enjoy working with those types of things. The science behind waves has been around for years, but the operational forecasts of wave runup and wave battering along the coast is very new. It's very new to us, so we're really pushing the envelope when we do these forecasts. We're trying to forecast whether or not waves are going to strike dunes, uh, roads, or homes, or is the water level going to completely inundate any given area. And there's very vulnerable areas, there's hot spots that we have along coastal Maine and uh, New Hampshire. Even subtle changes in the oceans really affect meteorology, really affect the atmosphere. So if we can help better predict the oceans and better understand what's happening in the Gulf of Maine, we can better predict weather in New England. Water temperatures in the Gulf of Maine have been above normal for the last several years, also air temperatures in northern New England, and this is allowing uh, uh, storms to be fueled, nor'easters and hurricanes, more than they would have been as they head northeast into northern New England. GRMRI has helped us with the products and helping us create products and services for the coastal residents to use. It also helps us in our day-to-day -day forecasting as the meteorologists and emergency managers alike use these products that they create. One of the largest storms we had hit the coast in recent years is the Patriot's Day storm in 2007. And that is when we just completed doing some modeling with GMRI and it had an erosion and inundation forecast was on the extreme end of things. And we were able to put that into our forecasts and warnings using this new model. I value the Gulf of Maine because I live on the ocean, I own a cottage right at the beach, and I see the changes uh, to the beaches and to the ocean over the years, and, and the changes of uh, the climatology in the Gulf of Maine are really serious uh, things that we need to consider. There are various thoughts on what sea level rise is going to be over the next 50 years, but we need to plan ahead. We need to plan accordingly. Um, it may be minimal, it may not be minimal, but the threat to uh, life and property and coastal residents is real uh, over the next 50 years. The changes could be profound. Mm -hmm.